Imagine this. It's the year 2030. You walk into a hospital, and the doctor who greets you isn't human. It's an AI. It looks at your medical history, runs your blood test results, scans your genetics, and in 30 seconds gives you a diagnosis more accurate than any human specialist. Or picture this. You're applying for a new job, and the recruiter isn't a person either. It's an algorithm deciding if your resume even deserves to be read. That future isn't science fiction anymore. It's approaching faster than most people realize. In this video, I'm going to show you how AI is going to reshape our lives by 2030. I'll give you the real numbers, the research, the projections from McKinsey, which is one of the biggest consulting firms in the world, the OECD, that's the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, basically a group of 38 countries that track global economic trends and the World Economic Forum, the same organization behind the Davos meetings, where world leaders and CEOs discuss global trends. We'll look at four areas. One, jobs and the future of work. Two, the global economy and business. Three, society and everyday life. And four, the risks we need to face head on. This is not gonna be a sugar-coated story. By the end of this video, you'll see both the opportunities and the dangers. And most importantly, you'll understand how to prepare yourself for a future that's already here. Part one, work, the future of jobs. Let's start with work. Because whether you're a teacher, a driver, a lawyer, or a cashier, your job isn't just a paycheck. It's your security, your identity, your future. And that's exactly what AI is about to disrupt. Here's the raw truth. A huge chunk of jobs are going to change and some will disappear completely. The OECD, which studies the economies of 38 major countries, estimates that about 27% of jobs are at high risk of automation by 2030. That's not a random guess. It's based on looking at tasks inside each profession. So if your job involves things like data entry, routine accounting, or customer service, large language models and automation systems can already do a big part of it. McKinsey puts it like this. By 2030, 30% of current jobs could be fully automated and up to 60% of all jobs will have at least a third of their daily tasks altered by AI. Think about that more than half of the workforce doing different work than they do today. And this isn't just theory. You've already seen companies replacing call center staff with chatbots. Law firms are testing AI to draft contracts. Even newsrooms are using AI to write sports recaps. In 2023, a study by OpenAI and researchers at the University of Pennsylvania, analyzing how AI could impact different professions, found that 80% of US workers could see at least 10% of their tasks affected by AI. And for nearly 20% of workers, half of their tasks could be automated. That's one out of every five people potentially doing a completely reshaped job. But here's the nuance. Losing tasks is not the same as losing jobs. Historically, technology has killed certain jobs, but created new ones every single time. When ATMs rolled out in the 1970s, many predicted bank tellers would vanish. But in reality, banks used ATMs to cut costs and expand branches, which created more teller jobs for a time. With AI, we will see the same paradox. Yes, some jobs will disappear, but new ones emerge. Prompt engineers, AI ethicists, AI business architects, Jobs that don't exist today will be crucial in 2030. The World Economic Forum predicts 97 million new roles may be created worldwide by AI, even as 85 million are displaced. It's not a one-sided story, it's a reshuffling. But reshuffles hurt if you're not prepared. Let's be honest, not every worker will make the transition. An experienced accountant in their 50s won't magically become a machine learning engineer. That's where society faces a challenge. But at the personal level, if you're under 40 today, the question is simple. Are you learning how to work with AI or are you waiting until it takes half your tasks away? And let's talk inequality. A McKinsey study shows that automation tends to hit low-skill jobs hardest, cashiers, clerks, drivers, while creating high-skill jobs for people with advanced education. That means unless governments act, AI could make inequality worse. So by 2030, expect this. About one quarter of jobs as we know them today will either vanish or transform beyond recognition. If you want to stay safe, don't focus on the job title. 
Focus on the skills. Skills like critical thinking, creativity, emotional intelligence, and the ability to use AI tools effectively. Those are harder to automate. The truth is, it's not AI will take your job. It's a person who knows AI will take your job. And that's the reality we have to face. Part two, business and the global economy. Now let's zoom out. What happens when businesses, governments, and entire economies start running on AI? The numbers are staggering. McKinsey estimates that generative AI alone, just the systems that generate text, code, and images, could add between $2.6 and $4.4 trillion every year to the global economy. To put that in perspective, that's about the size of the entire United Kingdom's economy added annually. If you include all types of AI, predictive models, robotics, computer vision, the economic impact by 2030 could reach $15 trillion to $20 trillion. Some projections go as high as $23 trillion annually by the early 2040s. Where does this money come from? Productivity. AI lets companies do more with fewer people, faster. Imagine a law firm drafting contracts with AI instead of paralegals. Imagine an advertising agency generating 100 variations of a campaign in an afternoon instead of three weeks. Imagine a manufacturing plant where predictive AI prevents downtime by detecting machine failures before they happen. These aren't fantasies. They're happening right now. Amazon uses AI to predict what you'll buy before you even click. Tesla's factories are filled with AI-driven robots. And in 2024, Klarna, the fintech company, replaced 700 human customer service agents with an AI chatbot that handled two-thirds of all customer requests instantly. So on the business side, the impact is simple. Companies that integrate AI will win, and those that don't will vanish. The scary part? As of 2025, only about 1% of companies are considered AI mature, meaning they've integrated AI across their core operations. Everyone else is dabbling. That means there's a huge first mover advantage. The businesses that go all in on AI now are going to dominate their industries by 2030. The rest will be disrupted, outsourced, or acquired. And here's a hidden truth. AI doesn't just change products. It changes business models. Think about Uber. It wasn't just an app. It was AI route optimization that enabled a whole new market. The same will happen in logistics, healthcare, real estate. Entire new industries will appear around AI, while old ones shrink. So what's the reality by 2030? AI will not just add trillions to GDP, it will completely reshuffle the competitive landscape. Companies that fail to adopt AI will fade into irrelevance. And for individuals, this means opportunity if you're fast, but risk if you wait too long. Part 3 society and daily life. Now let's go even bigger, society. What does life look like in 2030 when AI is everywhere? Healthcare, AI already diagnoses certain cancers more accurately than human doctors. By 2030, it's expected that up to 30% of medical diagnoses will involve AI support. AI-powered drug discovery is predicted to save the industry $70 billion by 2028, speeding up treatments for diseases like Alzheimer's and cancer. Education. AI tutors are already in classrooms. By 2030, one-on-one -on -one adaptive AI teaching could be the norm, giving every student a personalized learning path. Imagine growing up with a personal AI mentor available 24-7. That could be revolutionary, but it could also widen inequality if only wealthy schools adopt it first. Cities. Smart city projects use AI to manage traffic, waste, and energy. Studies show AI traffic systems could cut travel times by 20% in major cities, saving billions of hours each year. Energy grids managed by AI could reduce blackouts and optimize renewable energy use. Even entertainment will be transformed. By 2030, Music, films, and video games may be mostly co-created with AI. Imagine Netflix shows generated based on your preferences in real time, or video games where the storyline adapts dynamically because the AI knows your play style. But here's the catch. The more AI integrates into society, the more we risk dependency. If your medical care, your job search, your education, and your entertainment all depend on algorithms, 
then who controls those algorithms? Governments, corporations, open source communities? That's not a technical question. It's a political one. By 2030, daily life will feel more personalized, more efficient, and more connected. But it will also feel more monitored, more automated, and potentially more manipulated. The challenge is to enjoy the benefits without surrendering our freedom. Part 4. Risks and Challenges We can't talk about the future without facing the risks. The first is jobs. AI will create new roles, but not everyone will transition smoothly. Economists like David Autor, an MIT economist, widely respected for his research on technology and jobs, warn that AI may not offset job losses fast enough, especially for mid-skill workers. Some analysts project 15% to 30% of developed world jobs are at risk. The second is inequality. Jeffrey Hinton, often called the godfather of AI, a pioneer who helped invent deep learning, warned of massive unemployment and said AI could enrich the few while making millions poorer. If AI is controlled by a handful of corporations, we could see wealth concentration on a historic scale. The third is security. AI makes deepfakes so realistic that misinformation could destabilize democracies. In the 2024 election cycle, fake audio of political leaders already went viral. By 2030, spotting what's real and what's fake may be nearly impossible without advanced detection. And then there's the existential risk. Some researchers like Roman Yampolsky warn that AI could push unemployment up to 99% and even pose an existential threat to humanity. That's the extreme view, but it shows how uncertain the long-term path is. Finally, regulation. The EU is already pushing through AI laws. The US is debating frameworks. China is racing ahead with fewer restrictions. By 2030, the question of who sets the rules could define global power. So the risk is clear. If we manage AI poorly, we get inequality, chaos, and instability. If we manage it well, we unlock unprecedented prosperity. The stakes couldn't be higher. So, what will 2030 really look like? Work transformed, economies reshaped, society reprogrammed, risks we can't ignore. But here's the truth, AI isn't destiny, it's a tool. It can destroy jobs or create them. It can divide society or unite it. It can empower individuals or enslave them to systems of control. The choice is not in the code, the choice is in us. If you take one thing away from this video, let it be this. AI won't replace you. But someone who knows how to use AI will. So learn, experiment, adapt. Because the future isn't waiting. And if you want to keep preparing, subscribe. This channel will keep cutting through the noise, giving you the facts, the context, and the insights you need to survive and thrive in the age of AI. Thank you for watching and remember to stay ahead of the future.